Uh, it seemed to me that your leaning was that men who are attracted to women with uh, little or no body hair, that's some sort of pathology, or men who prefer women who, for example, shave down there, that is um, maybe weird. Is that uh, your, yeah, I did, is that I your did position? I did bring that up. I'm not saying, I'm saying that societally, like, that's, that's been what it, that's obviously what it is. Like, Right, so what's the implication on the individual level in terms of your your judgment of men who have this preference? I wouldn't say I would give like a, that's my judgment. I'm just saying in society, what like value. You said yeah. it was infant, like With they, infants, they want, like, want infants. Is that kind of what you're like getting younger. at? Like that younger. That they're attracted that's to the children, that they're PDF. That's the definition of it. Yeah, but is that essentially what you're suggestion is that men who are attracted to women with little or no body hair or who shave their hair they are it's really just these are terrible men who are pdf no i'm files. not saying that i'm saying Both, that so it could be subconscious because it is through society like it's a system subconsciously what that they're like attracted it could be to... a subconscious thing like just because you don't like hair doesn't mean oh doesn't hey necessarily you know, correlate so subconsciously the, this is what he, what he's trying to get at. Are you saying that the correlate of hairless they're associating with child? You mean like, like that you're associating like like women with like who are shaved give like a child like, like I'm saying society. Yeah, standards. but like yeah. Okay, so do you think that men are attracted to women who are hairless because they're infantilizing and giving them a childlike persona? I'm saying it's pushed on by society to like younger women. I'm saying that it's something yes. that's been instilled kind of by society. Do you, do you believe that evolution is a fact? Is evolution a fact? Yeah, for sure. Then what is the primary edict of evolution? It's to replicate, right? You can't evolve if you don't reproduce, can okay, you? Okay, there's two things can be true at once. But absent reproduction, there is no evolution. So. The primary edict of evolution is reproduction, right? Yeah, so if that is true, which women, which tier of women are going to be able to reproduce the best? Women in their 20s, women in their 30s, or women in their 40s? Obviously, it's going to be women in their 20s. Those so then brutal. evolutionarily, why wouldn't males be more attracted to the women who are going to reproduce the most? But I'm saying I don't think it's evolutionarily, You, you still won't answer the... I don't mind if you qualify and then tell me where I'm wrong or right or this or that, but I would appreciate if you would actually answer the question I ask and I'll do you the same service. So my question is, if the women in their 20s produce the most children, wouldn't it follow logically that men would be attracted to women in their 20s as they're the ones who reproduce the most? Yes, it would. But I don't understand how like this a... is associated with infantilization or PDF or any, I don't because understand Because I think the what she's saying is like, we've moved on from just viewing people as like reproduction objects. And so there's like more that goes into <laughs> what it. What do you mean we've moved on like, from it? Like what? what are we even talking about? Like, How do you figure that we've moved on from reproduction? That's not what I said or meant. When we're talking about evolution and the primary goal is to keep creating and blah, blah, blah. So you're talking about that, yes, that would make men more attracted to younger women who are more fertile, I get that. But she's trying to bring a different context to that. She's not just saying this is an evolutionary yes. factor. Like, I'm gonna bring a different I, and I'll, I'll even it. steel man it to make sure that you guys know that I understand what she's saying. She's saying that socially and societally, it is pushed upon men to be attracted to younger women. I understand the argument. What I'm saying though is that it's actually the inverse that the from your worldview would be the evolutionary need to reproduce which informs society not society which is informing you to be attracted to these younger women that would be my counter and so what i'm looking for is an argument to that how would that be wrong so that's kind of like then why would it be pushed upon in the last it's, 30 years to be to, you like, think that yes, it's only pushed it upon is, in the last 30 the years yeah, that older men like to youth? fuck young hot women? Really? It is valuing youth, right? Because why? Why are they valuing youth? You're saying it's because of Evolution reproduction. Design. What else would it be? Men want to have sex with younger women 
Why are they wanting to have sex with him? What would be the mechanism from which informs them to have sex with younger women? I don't think it's to reproduce. You're trying to like feed me an answer that I'm not like that's not my answer. So I'm not. Well, then that's what is your what answer? You. I don't think it's subconscious. I so think that think it's, it's conscious. Totally conscious. I think that men will tell you, I want to fuck young, hot women. And I think the reason that they want to fuck young, hot women is because young, hot women have lots of babies. And so that's why they're attracted to them. But why Otherwise, the studies, why would they be attracted to them? Why do the studies say that they end up dating the women around their age, oh though? Oh, my God. We showed you the because, studies. Because of the pool which is available to them. Let me ask However, you a question. However, when the pool expands and they can choose younger women, they, want they money. do. They do. Do you, do you think women are attracted to men who have lots of money? Wouldn't it depend? It would okay, depend. let me ask you a question. Why is it then, you know, if women actually wanted to date billionaires, well, why is it that they end up dating people kind of generally speaking in their socioeconomic range? It's proximity. Like you're around those people. Right. Okay, but if they could date a billionaire, would they? I mean, wouldn't everyone? Well, but personality no. would also personality would also be like a factor and everything. It would There's be a, a factor, lot of factors, but wouldn't you like go into it, rather go for they, someone who had more money than like? Right, but you're saying okay. More, well, why aren't these men, more. despite men's desires? If you're a 50 year old man, the reality is most 20 year old women don't want to date 50 year old men. Unless he's like really maintained his looks and he's bringing status or something else to the table. You disagree? Oh, yeah. I would date a 50 year old man yeah. in a heartbeat. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but. I love that for you. <laughs> Even older. But the reality is just because you want something doesn't mean you can get it. So if they could, though, if 50 year old men, regardless of their shortcomings, could be dating 20-year-old baddies, they would. I don't agree. I, I just agree don't with agree that. with your statement, and you're like trying to force me to like agree with something that I don't agree with. And I'm I just think it, you don't have to agree no. with it. I mean, just th like this I. is like if, if I were to make your same sort of position here, if you were to sit there and tell me, yeah, Brian, women are attracted to billionaires. And I said, well, that's just really not true. I just don't agree. That doesn't make, make it less true. <laughs> it's still um, true, right? So you girls don't think that that's a thing. By the time you're my age, you will believe what he just said about if the men could pick, if they could get the woman that's 20, they would. I'd like to see like the cold heart facts on that. Just we, live I mean, long enough and you, you will. That wasn't the facts. That was the I'm dating. not that trying to no, be disrespectful. You showed me a picture of Tim, like, from Spider-Man no, no, or something. No, no, no. The data showed that. Did you not see the, the data the that, that showed the men Yeah, as attractive, who they saw yeah. attractive, not attractive. dating. Is that how you feel about your husband? I mean, besides physical appearance, can you articulate Is that how you feel about your husband? Like, he would just leave you for someone that's younger? No, he wouldn't leave me for someone that's younger. No, but most men would, if they had the preference between an older woman and a younger woman, like from scratch, they would pick the younger woman I, to be more attractive. It doesn't mean that that's who they want for a life partner. And exactly it's funny. Do really think, do y'all, like, hold on, let me, I'll just give you anecdotal experience from myself. I'm 35. Do you think that women my age are offering like orders of magnitude more in terms of their behavior and demeanor and personality than a 25 year old? What is the difference to you? Why don't you answer you? my question before asking me a question? I'm saying yes, 35 to me personally. You think 35-year-old yes. women across the board are offering more to me in terms of their personality and their behavior and how they conduct themselves than a 25-year-old? Maybe. Tell me how. Okay, this is how. Ready. So, 35 years old, you have gone through and experienced different things that make you understand like who you are and what you value and also you you know what you want when you're 25 you don't even necessarily know who you are and not only like that cortex is you know fully why? developed at 25 just barely like it's, it's fully quote, developed sealed off. it's fully but, developed okay ready so uh, yeah. 25 right you haven't been through as much experience as that 35, right? We, Can you follow that, though? 
follow Can what? Can you follow what I'm yes, saying? Yes, I, I absolutely follow what you're saying, but I'm sitting here as a man telling you, no, I don't, and most but men what's the don't give a fuck. you? Can you answer fuck. that question? Most men don't give a fuck about your experiences, most of which involve trauma and baggage. You've got more dick. You've been through more dick. You fucked more guys. You have more bodies. Can you let <laughs> Maybe you picked up a couple no. STDs. Can you, let me, can you let me respond? I just yeah, articulate I the actual experience that would make me more attracted to a girl. Can I respond? What's the experience? Okay, here's the thing. Ready? So... The fact that you're saying that right now is so fucking cringe and weird. How, the fact that you're saying disgusting. when you're 25, you're more attracted to that person because of why. Can you give me a reason why? Because you want to have sex with them. So that's it. Yeah. No, there's more. Yeah. Is that your answer? Can, no, no, listen. Yes. The thing is, is what Brian is saying is that men value the experiences of women less than they value their physical characteristics. Now, that can grow that can grow over time where you value them for other things other than just their physical beauty. But it seems apparent to me, and it's apparent according to this study that I have pulled up in front of me, which says that men, oh, so when they're investigating the age span, women reported a narrow age range than men, and women tended to prefer slightly older men. Makes sense. We also show that men's age range widens as they get older, meaning they still have a preference towards Younger women doesn't mean they can get them, but they still have a preference. Why men like to fuck young, hot women? Am I wrong? So no, what, I'm wrong. What is, what is the reason for that? <laughs> Hold on. What do you think? Because it's, because it's, of re- it's, it's so cold. the reasoning from your worldview would be due to reproduction. Well, younger I have women a lot have of guy babies. friends. New wave feminism donated two hundred dollars. They don't want all the I'm baggage. I'm thirty-nine. They don't don't the date women that have Hold on. Hold it's on. nature. Men want a family, not a partner. Sex equals children. Even the stripper admitted dating is hard at 30 plus as a woman. Did she? She did, but Wait, she was so, saying... so hold on. Let's get into this. First off, do you think that all women at 25, their personality is just like dog shit, they're terrible human beings, and then at 35, they're magically the best partners ever, and they treat you the best? No, you're going to two extremes right now. I never I mean, had my I've mouth. What i actually experienced is as women get older, they tend to get actually more malevolent. As they get older, sure. If a woman doesn't want to date real. me because I'm more jaded what? and I've had more experiences, Wait, I don't give a fuck. Wait, how does he look malevolent? He's like, really? Look at all the clips. Back, you tell me why. How does Brian look malevolent? He's having a, a straight-up conversation okay. with you where he's explaining right, we can be the worldview home, so. paradigm differential. What? Okay. How would that be malevolent? He's literally like, who would want to date him then? Like, what let's be that real. Have... He's being, like, so bitter about this. Bitter about what? Like, How why would a bitter? girl that age want to date you then? Yeah, what? Because th- she wants his resources. I'm about to leave because this is really dumb. What's that? You're I about to know. leave. Why? No, your conversation you're having, first of all, the way that it's dumb? you spoke. You're speaking about How I... women. Okay, go ahead. Make your point. I mean... The way you're talking about women in their 30s is absolutely disgusting. What yeah, did I say? Like, no, tell me okay. specifically Honestly, what I they said. They have baggage. They have high... I'm sorry. They have baggage. They have high bodies. Like, you're making these blanket general statements about women that's absolutely disgusting. And we're all not disgusting. one of in, like, five years. Fair, hang on. That's a like totally that. fair criticism. That's disgusting totally fair, to me. Fair I'm going to be honest. So I wish you love, like, and healing. I'm about to leave because I don't want to be around you. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before you leave, can I just ask... I just want to ask you one question and we'll just see if this logically i'm just going to test your logic really quick do you think that women in their 20s generally have less baggage than women in their 30s yes or no generally i think it depends on the woman because i feel in my generally heart, generally generally i don't it's possible yes but what i i want to say yeah, what do you think really though fast, do you think that really generally fast. women who are who are in their 30s have more baggage than women in their you 20s? say baggage wait wait before you Hi, say Tom. your thing hold on before you Hi, say Tom. your thing let me actually just not make this a gendered thing men People. men doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman as you get older you go through more experiences and some of those are positive experiences some of those are negative experiences so both men and women accrue trauma and baggage mm-hmm. as they age. In yeah, recent years, sense. I've dealt with very difficult things that I didn't deal with a, a while back. It's just the reality of being older. So I'm straight. I date women. So, I mean, I can, I'm can. i gendering it because, yes, I'd rather date somebody who's perhaps in their, you know, a younger woman who's maybe 25, for example. Don't get me wrong. I find women who are in their 30s attractive. 
In fact, I've dated women in their 40s. I've dated women older than me, so it's not like I'm exclusively going after like college girls. I'm not. But what I am saying is, is that I, if they want to date me and I want to date them, I don't see any problem with dating a 25-year-old. Okay, yeah, I don't see a problem dating uh, That's I'm fine. with a 38-year-old. But, like, but, but I I, I'm just, you're, you're saying I'm using these generalizations. I mean, we are talking about generalizations here. Obviously, there's women in their 30s who are virgins. But, I mean, the reality is a woman not who's... Not many. Not many. So yeah. you're, you're, you're upset about me. You, it's disgusting that I'm talking about body count. Like, in realistically speaking, a woman at 35 is going to have more bodies than however body, however many bodies she had at 25. But you're valuing because a of body woman count. At, because of her body count, yep. her baggage. What? But so what's wrong with that? I would have, I, like, I'm not allowed. Hold on. Should you be able to you, date no one? Who are you dating then? How is that relevant? No, not, how is that relevant? Who are you what dating? if I told you I was dating a 19-year-old? That'd be kind of weird. How, yeah. why, why would that, with the same logic, who would want to date you then? Uh, let's let's put talking? that same logic Th on nobody you. Nobody has to date me. I know, but I'm nobody like, has to date me. Use that logic on yourself, though. Like, who would want to date you then? People who what? are women who are interested because you're in saying, resources. Like, people that are younger. Are I'm talking about me. I these are people who I'm choosing to date or not to date. So if a woman doesn't want to, for, and first off, actually, yes, plenty of women don't want to date me because of this podcast. That's totally fine. I don't object to it at all. If you don't like my viewpoints on political things or my viewpoints on gender dynamics, you don't want to date me, don't care. That's fine. Okay. Well, I was saying before that. Go ahead. So in terms, I think you're allowed to have your personal preference. I'm sorry I came off the wrong way when I stated that. Yeah, you said was, he, you felt disgusted. Okay. No. about you, That's the what over, you said, though. That's, that's part one of, of the aspects okay, of the general aspects. essence okay, go ahead. of what I was saying. Sure. I am... I was disgusted in the way in which you were. So number one, you changed after. I understand. I don't share Brian's opinion on this. I do think that men, as they get older, do have less baggage than women generally. And I don't think that it's even, Stephen. And I don't. I do think that generally speaking, if we're generalizing again, men tend to have less baggage in their 30s and 40s, far less, in fact, because they become much, much more resource rich. And as you know, money can solve a lot of problems. This is a meme. And so I do think that they end up with less baggage than women. I do. I personally think we're for me, and I'm going to say this word again that you guys don't like, but in the sphere of consciousness that I focus on, the people that I'm surrounded by mm -hmm. have, it's like almost like a different reality. I mean, it's honestly yeah. insane. When it comes to so perceived rare. baggage, I'm saying the ability as you grow as a human in age, physical Wait, age, me, that you grow within your being. Well, so let me ask you a question, right? So you, you mentioned body count, or you mentioned you thought my view was disgusting for a couple of reasons. One, that I judge women, I would perhaps not date a woman because of her body count and because of her baggage. If I didn't want to date a woman because she stubbed her toe once and she yelped out, what would actually be wrong with that? Like, it's, make an actual like argument, so make weird. an actual Wait, argument why, mean? why perhaps you find that absurd, but make an actual argument for why it would be wrong and disgusting for me to not want to date a woman who once stubbed her toe. That's and she has trauma too. and baggage Yeah, from everybody's that. got their personal preference. Yeah. Why is it, dis then, I mean, to, that was an extreme example. Mm -hmm. Why is it disgusting for me to disregard a woman in terms of my dating prospects because she has baggage? No, I understand what you're saying. I, the, that, what I said in terms of disgusting is that you were focusing on specifically women and not as a general statement for win women and men. But well, then I'm you straight. changed it. I only date no, women. No, but then you changed it and I said, okay. Did the I only change? reason that he changed it, it was said, to I'm, say, I but I don't, I don't even, well, I, maybe because you can hold on like to it. Don't actually understand. Yeah, he, I thought he, I was, was tracking just with you, like it was just but now, now I actually don't no, understand. He, he maybe you can help me out. He was oh. only two. Wait, one second, one second, one second. Two hundred dollars. My P3N1S finds itself confused Good. by this paradox. <laughs> Younger women should have less baggage, but these <laughs> chicks are so toxic, I suddenly find myself extremely attracted to hey, slightly hey, older Texans. I was tracking everything you were saying. Let me just ask. Obviously women don't only look for money, but money is important. Ladies may not like it, but you exist in it. You can push forward to change, but also have to exist and live with what's now. All right. Thank, thank you, whatever, bro. Thank you, Nickelodeon. Go ahead, Andrew. Uh, I don't actually understand what the problem is if you're having a conversation, you're focusing on just generalizations for women only and you're not bringing up men. I actually don't even know why that's a problem. 
it works both ways for men and women. Would you then say, but this also applies to cats, and it offends me that we're not bringing up cats as well as dogs. That that doesn't make any actual sense. But to me. the thing was that we weren't talking about specifically that's women. Different. We were just Wait, but talking also about dating in general. Wait, but that's does what that. your objection was: was that he you were only, he was only that, talking though. about women. Wait, we weren't talking about specifically women. He was specifically talking about women. But the overall arching topic we were talking about was dating in general. It was not focused specifically on women until Brian made it that way. Well, the, yeah, right. That's but, when, but but that's my that's whole point. I right? I get that he made it that way. I just don't know why that's a problem. Because I want to focus on both ends. Because you guys always focus on women all the time and not on the other opposite side of the scale. Okay. I think, of men. Well, I think that, that really, I mean, that's, though, that's, the it's, issue it's here... It's only fair to say I would also like to talk about men. That's fine. But I don't know why you would be offended if the conversation goes to generalizations about women, even absent because, talking no, about wait, women. Wait, wait, wait. No can, we just, because can I just say this, though? I don't think that it's all just about, like, I think it's the way he speaks about women tone in voice. many contexts on the show the tone. that we've seen it before. So I feel like... That tone? Yeah. You don't like the tone? No, it's not the what tone. tone? Let's uh, it's, not real. No, but, it's, I mean, not... I the tone, tone is sometimes tone. part of it. I just feel like it's just the way the, tone, the like, things that he brings back, the way he counters. It's not a friendly debate. It's not a fun debate. Like it's very friendly. like targeted. It can get like low key kind of nasty. Like I'm not oh. saying anything bad, but I'm just like this is just kind of facts of this show. Like you said, cringe. You said disgusting. You also said that men yes. who like who are attracted to women, who you pathologized men who are attracted to women with uh, little or no body hair calling them PDF files, I said society. Out. You're twisting my words again. What does that mean? I said society. She says it checks out. But if yeah. you're like you projecting think, okay. this well, onto yourself, then all that's right. on well, you. Well, I, I actually had notes on this. So you think men oh, who prefer women then. who are like shaved down there, they're P PDF files? No, I don't think that all of them are, but I think a lot, there is a lot going on with that correlation of like Hey, children. you know what? That's yeah. totally fair. I just want to hear you say that homosexual men who prefer their partners to be shaved are correlated with PDF files. Go ahead. Go ahead and say it. <laughs> I'm talking about. Yeah, I know, older but go men ahead and say and because women. remember we're talking about everybody, right? So homosexual men okay, so wait, that their male oh. partners are shaved. Okay. You're going to correlate them with PDF files just like you just did with straight men, well, right? If I'm using that in the context of saying that one of the partners is much younger and the other is much older. No, 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 hold on. That's How not I'm even the conversation. Hold yeah, on. Stop, 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 stop. Hold on. A 35 year old man dating a 35 year old woman well, could prefer different. his 35 year old girlfriend to be shaved. So what, it has nothing to do with age. You're I'm shifting the goalposts. I'm not saying that it is always in that You're, or that it's always at the no, age. No, but it has I'm nothing to do with age. It has nothing. Of it, no, a 35-year-old okay. man could want his 35-year-old girlfriend shaved. You're, you're shifting the goalposts. It had nothing to do with age. It never did. We were it's talking about like, body hair. It like, has nothing to do with I'm age. I have a question then. You didn't even let me. Do you want to finish your no. thought? Okay. Here's the logic. Women who aren't attracted to men with beards... Are PDF files. If you prefer your man clean shaven as a woman, you're a PDF file. No, you're that. taking it to no. the extreme. I know that's you're not what. Hold on. Extreme. I know that's not what you're saying. You like men who are clean shaven, baby boys, can't grow facial hair. You are P PDF files. I said it never that's correlated. So that's it's not, not a problem. causation versus correlation. It's completely different. Okay, then what, what is it? We're gonna be quiet while you explain. What it's, is it? It's society. It's broader. It doesn't mean you're consciously like actively a, a freaking pedophile i never said that i want to make sure i just want to make sure though you do not associate men being attracted to younger women who have all of their body hair shaved with any sort of pdf file you don't you don't make that association at all do you associate the two as the same do thing. you in any way associate men who prefer women with zero body hair to be associated with men who are PDFs or not, you personally. Do I personally know? No. In society. Okay. Well, then, society. And then going over to the gal in the white top, do you? No, I think it's very no. subjective. So there's you're... no there's no problem with it, right? There's no, no, there's still a problem. With... Like, what's the problem? <laughs> what is the problem with men preferring women to shave down there? 
Like it's not it's not that a, it's a problem. It's you just it's, you literally just said no. It's she a was talking about like the social construct of it and how there's like problems in our society with this kind of stuff. Like she's not obsession like, with use. Yeah, like use. she's not trying to make uh, this every weas- man's problem. You guys are like, trying I thought to weasel we were, out. You guys that's are not even true. Like I thought we were you're just not even to trying to understand what I'm saying okay, right now. Maybe I can try to understand this a little better. If a man prefers a woman and likes a woman to shave down there and prefers women who are not hairy, is that of the nature of being a P- PDF it, file? It is a sim- it's in there, yes. That is Would you say that that statement. is also equally true? It doesn't true make you homo- hang on, hang a on, PDF file. Hang on. Would you say that that's also then true of homosexual men? Who like they can be PDF files too. I never said they could. Are you are you saying that that is also associated with homosexuals? It who depends have that on what they prefer. They might not prefer like shaven. No, but if they do prefer it, just like a straight it's men, the same would you answer. associate that yeah, with the PDF same file answer, activity? Please. Thank you. Move on. Fun fact. No, I, I really don't want to move on. I really answer. want an actual like, answer what are you to, to the question. Like, like it's literally the same answer. Each yeah, time. no, but you don't really just answer, like he said, it's evade. not about gender, but suddenly it is. Like you're making it about it. So what are you trying to do here? You're like making about homosexuals, and then well, you're like, because oh, it's I not don't about understand. That. I don't understand the distinction. If it applies to straight men, then it would also apply to homosexual men, right? Can you just accept my answer as broader society? I, I can Thank accept you. it. If- I I just answered it. Broader society. Man. Broader society. So but you're the trying reason, to like get me in this like web of like from my end is because I do feel say. like I understand your position, and I'm going to repeat your position verbatim. Your position is there's a greater social push on men inside of the United States, the country you and I live in, for men to go after these beauty standards, which include women who are shaved in various places. Am I wrong or am I right? Yes, look at the South. You can marry mm-hmm. under the age. How is that? Eagle. How is that relevant? Okay. Well, it, it correlates. I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing, hang on, I'm willing to grant mar- all of this, uh, teenage, but just want to hear South? you say that I understand teenage, your teenage argument months. and 18? am trying to understand no, your argument. 18. That's what I'm asking. What age? Like, like 14. What state? I don't know, Not but Texas. I know it's a thing. There's, they have the balls still where you can go to a ball and get a teenage bride. What That's ball? So- <laughs> So anyway, I'm, I'm just saying, I, I did repeat your argument back to you pretty much verbatim. I do understand your argument. You agree that that's true, right? And I am trying to understand what you're saying. You agree that that's true? No, I don't know. Let's just. So I can not... just repeat your argument back to you verbatim. You agree I repeated it back verbatim, but I'm still not trying to understand it? No, you're not no. accepting my answer as society. Well, it's society. Because it doesn't mean you're your a direct answer... pedophile. Like, why would I say so, that? So this is, this is where we're deviating. Because your answer makes no sense to me, I don't need to accept it as being true. That's why I am inquiring as to the answer. I understand the position. You agree I understand the position. What's wrong with me questioning the position if I don't agree with it? You're literally putting Then why did you mouth. just agree that I didn't? No. I never agree that you didn't. No. No. So okay. you're just going to concede the argument. Then. Can we ask another question? Or- yeah, we can. I have two more things on this. The example I gave where does do adult women having a preference for men who are clean shaven, is that of the nature of them, of women being PDF files? No, I never said it correlated. It doesn't correlate like that. For women, but it does correlate for men who I never prefer... said it correlated. Wait, so... That in society, I, sorry, it's just... like valuing youth. I never said it co- correlates directly to you okay, being so let a me talk on the I never indi- said that. Okay, let me talk on the individual level then. A man who is attracted or prefers a woman who shaves down there, has little or no body hair, is that of the nature of him perhaps being a PDF file? It is valuing youth. It is in the nature of a pedophile because they value P- youth. PDF. Is that not you, the definition use, of a pedophile? P- What's the definition of a pedophile? Let's read it. PDF? Yo. Can you use, PDF? Yo. Can you use PDF file? Yes. Or okay, keyword. so let's use hebophile. Would they be hebophiles? Wait, I, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't, it's not worth going there. So, yes for men. But isn't that the definition of... So then, but would, then it's the same for women, too, who don't like men with beards. I never said it correlated. 
I feel like I, I don't um, know. It doesn't like directly I mean, correlate I'm in sorry, that I'm way. I'm sorry, I'm just not really under, when you say it doesn't area. correlate, but does it correlate when lower. men prefer that in women? I never said it correlated. I said society in a broader sense. Okay, ignoring society. But, that, but that's a correlate. Ignoring society, though. That's, a, but that's literally a correlate. It's like if I say society in a broader sense likes it when women wear pink, and you're like, there's no correlate there. No, what, it, do, what it do you, doesn't What do you mean? mean? Of course there's a correlate. That is a mean. correlate. No, it doesn't mean that if you value that thing, that you automatically are that thing. I'm not. Mean that. That's not what I said. I didn't say that because you value a thing, you are that thing or not that thing. I'm saying that for you to say it's not a correlate because society's pushing it, that's literally a correlate. How could it? How could it be anything else? Like saying society pushes ice cream, and I go, well, a lot of people eat ice cream. That's a correlate. You're making a correlate, right? So do you object to one men? One thing doesn't make one thing How the other. How about this? Let me ask you a question. Do you object to men having a preference for women who are clean shaven? No, not at all. I'm saying that's like what society values youth. I don't care. Like I'm, that's. Okay. I'm going to say I'm move it on off of that. You also mentioned when I said something along the lines of I'm 35, something about dating 25 year olds. You said that's cringe. Why is that cringe? Because the way you said, the way you phrased it, you said... How did I phrase it? You said, I'd rather date someone who's 25 because they have less baggage. Mm -hmm. And I said, saying that is super cringe. Why is that cringe? Because my question was, like, why would that be the case? Why would it be that the case? Having if that's lived like, less, 10 years less, why would it be the case that you have less baggage? But you said you've been through a lot of trauma too, right? So who I've would want to date you things. the same way? If a woman chooses to disqualify me because of either perceived or real baggage, I don't care. Men and women don't I get really, trauma the same. Here's the difference. For most men, if a woman doesn't want to date them, we kind of accept it. Like, we accept, for example, that women prefer tall men. We accept that. But you can't seem to ex For you, you would want to fight somebody on it. Like, oh, you don't want to date me because of this? If a girl doesn't want to date me, she could not want to date me for any reason, I don't care. There's plenty of women out there. I'm not tripping if specific women or groups of women might not want to date me because of my hands, bro. I don't care. If Someone is younger, they have less baggage. Am I wrong? Quote unquote baggage, which I hate that why weird do you, term. Why do you hate the term baggage? Because just because you've been through trauma doesn't mean you're still traumatized. You can be healed and better from that right. in a way that you though? weren't before. What if you're not? Then you're not. Okay. I, so would it be wrong for me to not want to date somebody who's still going through that? No, not at all. I think we all actually agree on this being misconstrued <laughs> the way everyone's saying. I think I 100% agree. If you don't want to date someone because you feel like they have a trauma that get infringes on your relationship. I 100% agree on that. Yeah. And, I, 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 and it's no, fair I game for women same, too. You know, I yeah. feel the same fair exact way. Fair game for women. You don't want to date a guy I, who's going through yeah, some 100%, shit. 100%. Fair no one game. does. Fair is, is it cringe? Why is it cringe? So no, I because think the way it, you phrase it, you said I'd rather date someone who's 25. The way you said it was cringe. How did I? How Maybe did you I, mean I someone know, in general that doesn't have that much baggage. Yeah, I understand though. It's true. When you're older, you go through things that can be traumatizing, but that doesn't inherently mean just because you're older, you have more baggage. Not necessarily, but I think that's with me and you, that's the only thing that I'm talking about here. I'm not talking about anyone else's opinions here. I'm saying with that, but I agree with everything. I just wanted to clear that up with you so we were both on the same page. Okay. Are we going so back on way? track? <laughs> what should we talk about uh, now? Well, the, the whole point of this, uh -oh. if you make a claim, we just want to test the logic. I just want to know why it is you think, what you think, and why you think it. The same way when you, when you say to Brian, hey, this is cringe, that's you saying, okay, I think this thing. I'm making this claim. I think that this is off-putting or there's something about this which is bad. So he makes the inquiry, well, what about it is bad? Tell me, tell me what about it you find off-putting or disturbing or something like this. He's just trying to test the claim. I don't even see why anybody would be upset with this. Okay. You don't see. Let's read all the comments and see. 
You don't Seriously, want it. I'm though. reading the comments, bro. I'm not saying that. I'm saying on your videos that go viral, like, let's read the comments and see why people are upset in the way in which you present your point. You're like, oh, oh I'd rather date someone who's 25. Mm -hmm. Why do you think tone. people are pissed at you? Wait, yeah, it's wait, the tone, man. Okay, it's so, about the tone. So, so here's, the, here's the thing. Here's the no, thing. it's this the way he very, presents it's his it's point. I don't give a fuck. I love arguing. I will argue all day. Wait, hold on. You can get loud with me. I don't care. I love arguing. If you love it, then why do you suck at it so bad? Cool, I don't care. Goodbye. It's emotion mm. versus logic. <laughs> like, it's left I mean, brain. I'm, so I love arguing. I'll make the claim I love arguing. I don't take any of it personally. I literally want to know why you think what you think and how you came to those conclusions because I don't suck at arguing, right? I actually want to know your worldview. I don't know if maybe my worldview is wrong. Maybe I'm way off. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I believe. Things that Maybe I you are. Believe. You're just amazing at arguing. You'll to never know because that. you'll never concede. I would never ever. be able to determine that in a million years if I can't get a contrary worldview from you, which is superior to my own. I can.